laundry business is a necessity. Yes, Everyone necessity. Everyone has to wash their clothes. So, yes. I don't think magkakaroon tayo ng problema after yes, 10 or yes, 20 years. Yan na po. Thank you, babe. Guys, may meeting kami ngayon regarding sa industrial ano, machine naman. So, si Miss Joyce Dalagang Pilipina. Dalagang Pilipina. Yes, so, yung hintay lang po natin siya. siya. Wala pa po siya. Yan. <laughs> sir, <laughs> so, may pangkape nga tayo. Wala namang pangbili ng ano. Di ba, sir? <laughs> Hey guys, ayan. So, pinaubayan ko yung daddy ang cellphone ko pero parang <laughs> parang binabo niya yung vlog. Anyway, so, nandito kami ngayon sa Starbucks and uh, may meeting kami. Yung nga, nasabi na sa inyo ni daddy. A few inches later. Hello everyone, it's Joy. So welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, nice to meet you. I do business and investment opportunities video. So if you think that you're in the right channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it so I can keep you updated. I am so kanina as ano na inform nga namin kay ni Daddy na we will be having a meeting with um, Sir Marlon and at ito na siya. He's from ELS. So ELS is Electrolux um, Laundry System. Ayan. So we are planning, hopefully, na we will venture sa... Matagal na namin itong pinag-iisipan ni Daddy na uh, mag-venture kami sa industrial. So kinuha namin ang help ni Sir Marlon from ELS. And ngayon, um, they are also um, supplying mga laundry, commercial laundry equipment. So let's ano, begin, uh, interview na natin siya ng content about the company and mga equipments na kinekari niya and new trends sa market ng laundry since gusto ko kayo na laging updated on the new trends sa laundry business. Alright, so Sir Marlon, hello! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Sir, um, just counting ano lang, counting background lang about ELS. Yes. Okay. Um, ELS is in the industry for almost let's say uh, 18 years. 18 but, years. Yeah, but the experience of the company is 30 years since uh, our founder, uh, our managing director, is in the industry for 30 years. Okay. He's been in the Electrolux for. Yeah, uh, 30 years ago. So basically, installation, uh, equipment-wise, uh, setting up laundry business, even on the larger scale, let's say commercial laundry, hotels, hospitals, uh, pharmaceuticals. So we've been setting up uh, those for, for, for uh, 30 years now. Here in the Philippines, ang bine-venture nyo is nagsusupply kayo ng ano yung mga machine na kinakari nyo ngayon? Well, uh, we're strictly focusing on the, of course, uh, helping uh, laundry shop. Okay. For uh, example, DIY, full service, commercial laundry. We even have clients na, we also have, we also have um, industrial. Uh, industrial. Side na, we're talking about hotels. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we help to be like the uh, equipment recommendation. Of course, mm -hmm. we have to size it up. Installation, of course, yung uh, after sales. After uh, sales. We've been providing so that in house. All right, all right. So um. Ang sinasabi ni Sir is they also do um so they, they, they do supply commercial laundry but if if in the long run gusto mong mag industrial uh pwede rin silang mag supply so ang hawak nila is yun nga uh, sa Electrolux yes, yes. yes. so tanungin natin si Sir since madami na rin siyang nai-installan ng mga commercial service commercial laundry business so think tanong natin ngayon kung ano yung bagong trend sa sa laundry sa laundry business Sir, ngayon na sobrang dami nang nagpapagawa or nagpapa-install ng mga laundry. Ang dami talaga nagbe-venture sa business. So, what do you think is ano, yung pinaka-competitive advantage na dapat? Well, um, on this business kasi it started, I think, four or five years ago. Uh, the self-service? Yeah, the DIY. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. We're talking about the conceptualization na ng market. Kasi, okay. there are 
a lot of uh, investors na gusto mag-set up sa gantong negosyo. Okay. Na gusto pumasok sa gantong industry. But somehow, there are things na medyo nakakalimutan. Mm -hmm. Which is, one is yung customer service. Yes. And isa yung, siyempre, yung feeling na you are in a comfortable uh, situation na pag nag-launch ka, you're not just there to avail the service. Mm -hmm. Kailangan, pag umupo ka sa house, may isang pangalanda. Uh -huh. if, so, if you're not interested in a page na stiff ang population. Yes. Uh -huh. okay, so, so, pag nag-set up tayo, we cannot just talk about uh, 15 square meters, uh -huh. 20 square meters. Somehow, medyo may hirapan na tayo. So, okay, okay. Interior designing pala. Yes, I understand. They are minimalist. Pero, let's be in a realistic way na kung gusto mong mag-set up ng doon, kailangan may waiting area. Yes. Area. Then, kailangan, pag pumunta ka sa isang shop, medyo mo kayo. Yes. Com hindi, yes. Comfortable. Comfortable. Hindi ka pipila ng pagkahaba-haba kasi mm -hmm. there are enough equipments in every mm -hmm. shop. I'm okay. talking about 10 or 15 washers and rubbers. Mm -hmm. So, the only way para makita yun natin ito is to make a larger space. Larger talking space. About 40 to 50 square meters. Mm -hmm. This is somehow the new... Uh, it's a trend na in a way na Saan mo nakakalimutan kasi? Okay, okay. So, um, so what Sir Marlon is saying, ang trend na ngayon is for you to give ano, additional, adding value to your service, like giving them comfortability habang naglalabas sila. So, like for us kami, uh, Sir Marlon, minsan pumupunta kami sa mga condo and we were willing to, ano, tinatanong namin kung pwede kami mag-rent uh, for, for us to put up a laundry business. So, una nilang hinahanap sa amin is, anong itsura ng store nyo? Anong magiging itsura? Kasi they are more of the, ano, anong magiging um, impact sa building nila? So, yes, physical. It's, 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 their, it's their face. Uh -oh. uh, it's their them if if they want uh, of course they also have clients yes na kung gusto nilang magbigay ng ganitong value of course on their on their backbone mm -hmm. eh, ito rin ang mukha namin yes so, so somehow it's it's the value we don't want killing this industry just yes pricing lowering the price okay Baka giving the giving the business itself uh -oh. So, mo, let's give value sa mga, of course, kung may mga bago magsaset up. Mm -hmm. Who know na marami gusto magset up. Mm, tama. With the value, the essence of setting this up. Of course, for a business owner, of course, it is business. We wanted to make good Ma profit. profit out of it. Eh, we can never do that if magbaba tayo. Let's not lower the price. Mm -hmm. Let's add value. Alright. So, ganito yun. Tama si sir kasi parang nangyayari ngayon since stiff yung comp competition doon tayo nagpapababaan tayo ng presyo. So you're killing the fresh the market. Uh, so kunwari like may nakwento si sir kanina sa sa isang place dito sa Philippines nagkaroon ng um, maraming nagsurputan na laundry business tapos ang presyo nila nagpababaan hanggang sa bumaba ng 40 pesos. Imagine guys, how can you, I know, parang paano ka makakalaban sa ganong presyo? So ang sinasabi lang dito ni sir is let's, let's compete na we should give or add value like giving them comfortable ano, uh, lifestyle. May sinasabi ka sir kanina about ano, yung, yung trend ngayon is the lifestyle and... The... Yes, kasi uh, somehow we wanted mga business investor to be more creative. Yes, oh, creative. Uh, of course, may mga setup na they add another business. For example, we have coffee a shop. Coffee shop, we add some other businesses. We have the barber shop. Uh, barber shop? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nilagay na sa isang uh, space. So you just have to, then, meron pa yung gaming. Oh, yes, yes. yes uh, 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 games still in that sa isang shop. So, uh, we need more of investors na creative on, of course, syempre magpo-provide tayong service. Mm. And we, we, we are killing, let's say, two hours of their time. Yes, two hours. Yes, so, kung mag, kung wifi lang, it's not. Yeah. Uh -huh. We uh -oh. Okay, okay. Guys, ganito yan ah. You need to, kung, kung saan mo location kayo pupunta, you have to better, ang pinakamaganda gawin is you have to know your market. Tama sir. Kasi, if ganitong, kung pumuesto ka sa 
ganitong lugar, kailangan alam mo yung market mo. So, alam mo yung marketing na pwede mong, pwede mong gamitin. Diba? So, it's, hindi laging sa presyo kailangan mag-compete. Diba, sir? So, sabi nga ni sir, ang dami, ang Philippines na ngayon ang pinaka, pinaka malaking nagsusupply ng, yes. ng mga laundry equipment. Ang galang, ha? Sobra, nakakatawa. <laughs> Ang dami nating natutunan kayo, sir. Oo, oo, oo. So, yan. Mm -mm. They, kailangan planning talaga and uh, location. Uh, you, have, you really have to think more mm. when you invest. Uh, I'm not good at any business. Pero I do understand that if you put a investment, Make, make the most out of it. Yes. Business, because sayang, lalo na yung industry. Yung yung sinet up ng iba. We have the competition. Ibig sabihin, we are all playing in this, no, industry. Na na we wanted to grow more. We wanted to, simply, give it to our client the the service. Na not just the service, the wash and dry. That's just simple. Every even washing machine can do that. Pero the idea na meron pa nasa self service shop na you wanted the concept na gusto mo ba? Parang nasa bahay ka lang. You wanted your client in somehow hindi in a 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 Dun po, pata yung paintings. Okay. So it's really the mindset na yun. How you do laundry business. Hindi yung basta tayo ka na lang. Okay na. You need to consider value. And yung market mo sa paligid. Ang dami na tinatutunan kayo yun. Oo. Tama. Tsaka ano, ngayon talagang ano, hindi nawawala ng market. Tama ba sir? Even the industrial. Kasi ang daming infrastructure nagsusulputan sa Philippines. Para na yung mga kabot. So there's always a market for, you know, for commercial and industrial. So it's for us to, you know, ano ang gusto nating puntahan. Pero ba ang nakakalimutan pa nang nakakalimutan po nato? Laundry business is a necessity. Yes, everyone has to wash their clothes. So I don't think magkakaroon tayo ng problema after ten or twenty years. We just have to, you know. Evolve or somehow innovate. We have to innovate in every service that we provide. I just want to, I know, medyo may napagkwentahan kasi kami dito ni Sir about sa incident na nangyari like scam. So I I just want to educate you guys regarding, I know, paano ba natin may iwasan yung yung mas scam kapag dating sa ano so mga supplier kasi tayo like for us more of mga viewers natin dito is OFW so they don't have someone na pwedeng mag-check or magtingin ng credibility ng some supplier so there's an incident na nangyari na nag na, nagpakita sila ng ng mga evidence or credentials na sila daw ay official na nag nagsusupply ng mga machine but at the, but ang nangyari nga is they are just scam so pinagbayad niya yung customer yung Lion, tapos din na sila na balikan. So, yun. Tanong natin kay Sir, what are the uh, uh, mga pwede natin gawin para maiwasan natin yung mga scammers? Diba? So, yan, Sir. Pwede educate natin well, yung viewers. Yes, uh, Pwede natin sa business, like other businesses, every transaction, please don't uh, fall into ridiculous deals. Mm -hmm. Sobrang baba na hindi nakapanipanin. Tama, tama. Eh, you can never trust those people. Plus, credentials. You cannot just trust na may pakikita sa iyo. If you wanted to ask the government, check. You must like, tawag nyo sila or i-search sa internet, nakikita nyo naman kung kasama pa rin sila sa registered sila. Plus, transactions. Always ask for the seat. Tama. Sales invoice, yung mga ganyan. If ang transaction nyo ay siguro hindi mo makaharap, medyo malaking problema, please always ask for even company profile siguro, clients nila. Please, effort tayo to get details. Get details. Not just transact, makita nyo sobrang baga. That's ridiculous. Huwag po tayo magpala. 
So yun nga sinasabi na sir, kailangan ano tayo, um, keen observer, tapos uh, uh, let's get educated. Kailangan mag-research tayo, hindi, yeah, oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Kasi sometimes um, may mga ano kasi na, oo, oh, oh, may, may mga, syempre tayo, gusto lang natin basta makapag-negosyo tayo. Hindi natin, medyo nakakalimutan na natin na maging maingat. Kaya yun lang, I just want to educate you guys regarding this matter kasi may mga incidents na pala na ganito na hindi ko alam na nangyayari pala. So, for you to, ano, maging safe, it's better safer than sorry, di ba? Ayan, uh, yun, yung mga sinabi ni sir na dapat yung gawin, yun yung gawin natin. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and, yun nga pala, if we are planning to also have a seminar anytime soon. So, yung mga gusto na magkaroon ng seminar tayo, yan, mag-comment na lang kayo kung sino mga gusto dyan. And, para, ano, mapaghandaan na natin. And, I'll make some announcement regarding this. Sa so, future videos. Alright? Yes, yeah, sana ma-invite ma natin si Sir. Yes. Oo, oh, oh, kasi talagang yung credibility niya is there. Alright? And sir, ganda to naman ngayon, uh, once I post this, syempre madaming nagtatanong. So, sa service nyo, if you, uh, pwede mo silang i-invite or i-plug yung company mo naman. Okay, thank you ma'am. Uh, we at PLS Philippines, actually you can search it on the net. Uh, we have the Facebook page, LG Promotion Wash and uh, PLS Philippines. Um, PLS Philippines. .com uh, okay. uh, I'll put in the description box na lang. Yes, for please. Uh, and then, kasi I'm not just the consultant, I'm just one of the consultants. Uh, uh, if you have a requirement for laundry, just ask uh, ELS for please. Yes. Commercial uh, man yan, industrial mm -hmm. When it comes to laundry, uh, when, when it comes to laundry, wag lang kong bahay, dito b to si lang tayo. I will give that to yung mga uh, supplier na na ano. So, okay. once, uh, you, can, you can get that to them. But uh, if we're talking about the uh, profitable uh, business, business, yes, for the industrial and the commercial, just look for Yeles Philippines. Okay, okay. So, ganito, if uh, mag, uh, kung sa mga magtatanong ayan, uh, you can DM me and ano, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung directly yung contact number ni sir para pwede niya kayong ma-entertain. So, sa mga magtatanong po, ilagay ko lang yung ano, and yung link ng ELS Philippines and then sa mga ano, bigay ko na lang yung contact number. Right? So, thank you guys for watching and I hope you learn something from this video and sobrang privilege to know the latest trends in the laundry business. So, I hope to see you again on my next video. Stay live, Thank you, thank you, sir, Marlon. <laughs>